Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing my April and May empty spin right here. I don't have a ton of stuff. I have a lot of skincare though. But also, I'm gonna go ahead and do my June giveaway in today's video. Typically, I do those towards the end of the month, but this month, I'm actually doing two winners. So I have two giveaways this month. One is a skincare focus giveaway and the other is a makeup focus giveaway. So again, there's two giveaways, two winners. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see how to enter and what products I have for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into the video. Okay, so I have my bin here with me. I don't have a ton of stuff. I mean, I feel like I do a pretty good job using up my products. So we're gonna go ahead and do the skincare items first. First up I have is this Garnier Skincare Micellar Cleansing Water. Now this took me forever to go through because it is huge. I have not purchased another one just because I'm currently using the Bioderma one and I actually really like that one. But this is a great one. This is probably one of the best micellar waters out there. So I do definitely recommend this one. Another skincare item is from CeraVe. This is our daily moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. I do like this. However, my skin has been a little bit more oily. So I've been switching up my moisturizers, but this is a really good one. Very inexpensive. Definitely do recommend this and it lasts a really, really long time. So next I have from the Inky List. This is their glycolic acid toner. I love this stuff. This cleared my skin up so well. My skin is really red typically, and this did a great job at clearing it up. However, I am currently using a different toner from Good Molecules, but I do 100% definitely recommend this. I have gone through, I think this is like my third bottle before, so this is something I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. So next I have two serums. One is from The Ordinary. This is their Buffett Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. I don't really know if this did anything for me noteworthy that I can think of. It is very inexpensive. The Ordinary, you can get it Ulta. They have a lot of really nice, um, cheap, basic skincare is how I would describe it. So, I mean, I guess... I mean, I don't, it didn't do anything wrong, but I don't know if I noticed any difference with it. Kind of the same thing for this, which is from the cream shop. It's their Ethereal Glow Ample Serum Peach Essence Argan Oil. This smells amazing. I'm not huge in two scented skincare products. However, I am okay with like one product in my routine being scented. This is okay. Again, it's um, very inexpensive. I got this in an Ipsy and other than that, I mean, it left my skin really glowy. So if you're looking for like a nice glowy serum, this is really nice and inexpensive. And if you're okay with scent, it smells really nice. Next, another skincare item. Again, like I said, I've been really focusing on using up skincare products because I have so much. So this is from Paula's Choice. It is a pore reducing toner with niacinamide. And this one is for oily combination skin. I have used like the regular one that comes in the black packaging several times and I've repurchased it several times. This, this is my first time using it. I do really like it. However, like I said, I'm using that one from Good Molecules, but I do want to purchase another one of these because this did a great job at minimizing my pores, especially on my nose. The toner I have right now from Good Molecules is like a brightening toner so it doesn't really do the same thing so i'm thinking about picking up another one of these just to help with my pores but i definitely recommend paula's choice if you're looking for a good toner it's on like pricier range just in like the upper 20s but they're so worth it in my opinion and then i have like two more skincare kind of related things one i didn't even use up so this is from first aid beauty it's their Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide, SPF 30. I don't even think this is available anymore. I wonder if they're making like a new formula or something. I liked this when I got it. It's tinted, it's really nice. However, it started like getting like clumpy and like kind of pilling on me. And it made me look like really greasy. 
So I'm gonna show you just a little bit. Like there's a hefty amount still in here, but I just don't feel comfortable using it because like, can you see those little bumps on there? I don't know what is going on with this. And it just feels gritty. I don't like how it feels on my skin. So I got rid of that. I'm using a sunscreen from Kinship and I am loving that. So I will probably, that's one that I would repurchase. And then the last kind of skincare thing is from Dermalect Cosmetic. You guys, I swear I hiccup in every pregnancy or in every pregnancy and every video, pregnancy brain. Um, anywho, it's, it's from Derm Dermalect Cosmeticules or something like that. It's a eyelash booster formulizer thingy, formula thingy. Got this in BoxyCharm, I think, and it's for your eyelashes and brows. I used it for my eyelashes. I don't know if I noticed really any significant difference, so therefore this is not something I would go out and purchase. However, it is nice to get products like this because they're not something I would personally buy. So it's nice to try new stuff. Next for makeup, I only have like three items because I haven't really the past couple months been wearing a lot of makeup. So that's why the makeup category on this is very small. So I have two and everything is all eyebrow stuff. So I have two eyebrow gels. This is from Wander Beauty and it's just i don't know what it's called but if you look in the description box i list everything that i mention in my empties bin and i link them so if i leave a good review in something that i mentioned you can always check the description box and if you want to buy it it's linked there so you can get it but this is from wander beauty and it is their brow gel and it's clear i absolutely love this stuff it does a great job at holding my brow hair in place without making it feel sticky or clumpy or anything so this i got in ipsy i think but this is something i would definitely go out and purchase next another brow gel this is from nyx this is um brow mascara i don't think this is my favorite i feel like it was a little too messy for me i would put it in my brows and i always have to clean up afterwards and then the last one is from Maybelline. This is their brow pomade. So this I didn't use up. It just got really, really dry. I have had this for a long time. So I ended up throwing it out, but I did purchase another one in the same shade. So that just goes to show that I do really like this pomade. All right, three things left. Three things left. And they are hair care and one body care item. So the body item is from Bath & Body Works. It is their 24 hour moisture body cream and this is in the scent at the beach. I've had this for years and I'm really trying to focus on using up a lot of my skincare and body care items because I have so much. So I used this one up and this smells really nice. It doesn't really give me like full on beachy vibes. I do like it and the scent lasts a long time but I don't think I would repurchase this one just because I love trying out new lotions. Next we have from Not Your Mother's. This is a dry shampoo. I don't even know when I got this or if somebody gave it to me or what, but I don't really care too much for it. It, it just, it says leaves no residue, but I feel like it left a little bit. I just don't think it really did much for me, so I would not repurchase this. The last item I actually got in an influencer box and the one that I have linked is a mini version and I think this is even smaller than the mini version, but it is from Goop and it is their Gtox Himalayan Salt Scrub Shampoo. And I absolutely loved this thing. I get a very dry scalp and it gets flaky. That's why I tend to not use dry shampoo too much because that helps with the that adds build up to my hair and makes my scalp dry and flaky so this was absolutely amazing i loved it a little bit goes a really long way and it feels like like salt or sand or whatever but when you rub it into your head and your like hair and scalp and everything it just the texture of it changes and it's really awesome so i absolutely love this stuff okay so that was everything that I use up in April and May. 
Next we have our little giveaway box. So instead of me just pulling everything out and showing it to you, I'm going to insert a clip really quick of showing you all of the products. All right, first up, we're gonna do the skincare giveaway. So first we have this from Grown Alchemist. It is this body cream. I haven't used this before, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be in the giveaway, but it does look kind of squish. That's just the packaging. I have used some stuff from them before and it always comes like that. Next we have from Dr. Brandt. It is this pore purifying cleanser. I have used um, one of these before and I absolutely love this. So I'm super excited to have this in the giveaway. Then we have a tool. This is a daily facial dry, dry brush and this is supposed to help with making um, your skin look more glowy with exfoliation. And then the last item in the skincare giveaway is from one one skin this is their celestial black diamond contour gel this thing is like a hundred bucks it is very expensive for the makeup giveaway first up we have from siate london this is their watermelon burst setting spray i think this is perfect for the summer then we have a tool and this is a microfiber sponge from juno and co these are my absolute favorite beauty sponges ever then we have this really pretty lipstick. I'm not sure what brand it's from, but I will show you the shade. It's like this really deep red, really pretty color. And the shade is called, focus, Full House. There we go. And the last item in this part of the giveaway is this palette. Of course, you guys know I always have a palette in my giveaways. This is Morphe X Manny MUA. We have several different shades here, two highlighters. So there's that. So those are both of the giveaways, a makeup centered giveaway and a skincare centered giveaway. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the rules for the giveaway. So the rules are very simple. They're always the same. Must be subscribed to my channel, must like this video, and third and last is leave a comment. So when you leave a comment, you're gonna make sure first of all that you leave a way for me to contact you i have so many people in almost every giveaway comment multiple times and they never leave a way for me to contact them you're still entered in the giveaway but if i can't contact you within like a certain amount of time then i will spin the wheel thankfully nobody has one who hasn't left a way for me to contact you but please just make sure drop an Instagram handle, an email or something so I can get a hold of you if you win. Second, in that comment, make sure you leave if you wanna be entered in the skincare giveaway or the makeup giveaway or both. You can enter in both. Um, you won't win both, but you can enter in both. But if you just wanna be entered in the makeup one, that's fine. If you just wanna be entered in the skincare one, that's fine. Also, last thing I wanna note, if I contact you and let you know that you won the skincare giveaway, that is set. So please do not ask if you could you know, switch to the makeup one because it's just gonna be spin and you win. So that's what we're doing. Again, those three rules, this video will be up. The giveaway will be up for a week. So I will insert the giveaway end date. Again, also, I always announce the winner over on my Instagram account. I will of course contact you, but if you're curious to see one, you can check my Instagram. It's just at Mary Petrushko. And then that is all I have for you guys for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and good luck for the giveaway. And I will see you next time. Bye.